Welcome everybody out there here to our next uh, webinar about uh, JFD Invest, improve your investing experience. And a warm welcome in the name of uh, JFD Bank as well. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to have you all here. My name is Stefan Friedrichowski. And as always, um, if you later have any questions or send me an email, you see already my email address on my first uh, slide here, uh, but you can name me directly Stefan. Um, that's uh, just for your information. Email address is s.friedrichowski, very complicated last name I know, at jfdbank.com. But anyhow, if you have questions, you can even ask support at jfdbank.com as well, um, for sure. Uh, let me before we start talking about JFD Invest, uh, and I have to name the date, yeah, 20th of June 2019, and uh, 7 o'clock at least in uh, Germany. And I see, once again, we have a quite international um, uh, participants here today, um, all around Europe, at least uh, it looks from the names. So uh, that's very good to be that uh, international. Before I finally start, um, just want to mention that if you want to see recordings of our webinars, it's absolutely no problem. Uh, you can see recordings of today's webinar from tomorrow onwards on the JFD YouTube channel. And if we just click that, then you are directly there. And then you see our uh, YouTube channel. And uh, that means if you um, go, oh, that's now because um, I'm a German, I have YouTube in German. If you press that red button, um, abonnieren, that means, yeah, you get always notification about new webinars, uh, new recordings online here. And you can see all the webinars. And if you look, uh, press video, you can see our daily webinars, you see investing uh, and investing once again. So you have access to all the webinars uh, we have done here on the JFD YouTube channel. That was one remark and the other remark, um, you know, that kind of procedure, I have to do it always, um, that I have to show up our risk disclaimer. And of course, we talk about um, trading, we talk about investment. Uh, but finally, whatever you do, you do it on your own, on your own responsibility. I think that's quite self-explaining and uh, you will understand uh, that remark quite well. But now it's time really to jump into JFD Invest. Let's have a brief view what is JFD Invest. JFD Invest, technically speaking, is a mirror trading platform. That means trades are mirrored or copied. But finally, what it does mean is JFD Invest is a digital wealth management. So you can invest in pre-selected trading strategies and that pre-selection procedure is done by JFD, looking around for good trading strategies. And uh, if people like uh, to become part of that, then send an email to JFD as well. And you, we, we would review those trading strategies, uh, not I, because I'm part of uh, the trading team, therefore not part of the review team. Uh, that's good because my strategies are here as well. So therefore I cannot be part of that review process. But anyhow, so finally it means you follow pre-selected trading strategies according your own preferences, uh, your own settings. That means which strategy you want to have in your account and with what amount of money you want to allocate into a given strategy. And even you can set risk parameters for a strategy so that a strategy is automatically stopped out if something goes wrong according you to your settings. And finally, you don't need any extra technical uh, services like a so-called VPS or any extra computer. No, you just need internet and then you set up everything and all the rest is done directly at JFD. And that means uh, no always online uh, computer. And uh, that's quite great. So you don't have to do anything for the rest. But the preferences and the settings, how to follow and which strategy you follow is absolutely done by you. And therefore it means finally you act 
as a portfolio manager. Let me jump a little bit further into JFD and West because it's uh, really good uh, to, to see it directly. So here we start on the homepage at uh, JFD. And, uh, and by the way, since we are that international, you can uh, select uh, other languages here as well, English, German, um, Italian, so whatever. But I keep here uh, to English. And then let's go for JFD Invest. That's all. And what you see now, and I will first go a little bit further down here, you will see top performing strategies. So here is a selection of the best five, um, and that is always updated um, at, uh, at the end of the day. And you see, we're talking about high return strategies. You see the numbers here, double digit numbers. And you see other key figures already here, but we will talk about those key figures uh, further when I go directly to the platform, because those key figures are quite important in order to find a good match between your preferences and those strategies. You know that if you go for higher returns, Normally, then there is higher risk necessary, and you will see exactly that is the key of those different strategies. So a strategy with a return of 80% has a higher risk than others. It's not directly always one-to-one, -one, but as a guideline, it's like that. So it's a question for you. Is it highest possible return? Then you see already which strategy you would follow. Or if you want to reduce risk or even you do a portfolio of those strategies and that's exactly uh, what i would like to introduce here how to set up such a portfolio because that is the best according to your preferences therefore there's not a single best portfolio because the preferences of everybody are totally different and therefore we have to talk about the general guidelines how to become part that's really quite easy um, all you have to do is first you sign up a JFD Invest profile and you see already the green button here and that's uh, what you should press to be part of JFD Invest. No money involved, just open um, that profile. Uh, it only means an email address and a password, nothing else. The good thing is you can use that profile already at the very beginning just to have a little bit more information about the trading strategies. Still, you can use a guest access. That was what I will do uh, later. Um, and finally, I will show up my personal JFD Invest account because then you can see my personal portfolio and how that has developed over time since the very beginning of JFD Invest last year, September. Meaning last year, September, that means that the strategies are even older. So we have started the project just uh, even a year before to have strategies up and running uh, with a long-term um, track record, of course. So you open a JFD Invest profile, then if you like it, you may open a JFD Invest account. That's a special trading account. That means even if you are already a client of JFD, uh, and you have a trading account, you cannot use exactly that account. You need an extra account uh, just for JFD Invest. And the reason is quite simple. Uh, with that uh, JFD Invest account, you uh, have an account with um, the professional leverage. That means you have a leverage of 1 to 100 because you follow professionals and therefore you get the same conditions. The maybe from your end downside might be you cannot really trade by your own. You cannot open a trade euro, US dollar long, something like that. What you do is you follow those strategies, if you like, and you allocate um, money for a given strategy. Finally, you connect both uh, together and then you can start following any trading strategies. Before I go into the guest access, uh, let me show you the last um, week result, um, that is the newsletter we always send out uh, in the middle of the week. And you see here in this case, uh, the top performer of last week has been PowerFX, a strategy uh, with a profit in one week from, of about 1% or close to 1%. And you see the um, long-term history of the strategy uh, here already within the graph. You may say, okay, 
it's not a high performance strategy. You're right. Um, overall, within one year, it managed to achieve a little bit about uh, around 12%. But 12% in one year? Hmm. Maybe not that bad. Um, once again, it's a question of your preferences. If you are looking for higher profits, oh, we offer those strategies as well. So no problem, we find them. But that was the last uh, week, a top performer. Uh, you see other ones here, Goldmine Forex Gun, which is a new one here, launched um, just a couple of weeks ago. We will look to the new, a uh, little bit more um, closer, uh, because I can tell you a little bit more about that strategy. So always quite interesting and nice results. Now it's time to really jump in. But first, as a guest, then later I go to, with my profile and we will see um, my personal JFD Invest account starting September last year. So now I'm in as a guest. Okay, what does it mean? Um, you have to see all the strategies and we have in total 15. So there's a second page uh, here. And now I think it's time to have a closer look to the key figures we have already at the first page. Inception date, okay, that means uh, how old is the strategy or that it means live trading. Uh, always has a live trading account behind and only a live trading account um, can be used here. We see the total return since inception and uh, last month's result and year to date result. And we see another key figure which is quite important, uh, which is called equity balance deviation. Maybe you are not that familiar with that key figure. Let me explain that a little bit more because it's really important. If you have a trading account, there's always a difference uh, if you have open trades between equity and balance. If you don't have open trades, then the both numbers are uh, equal. But if you have open trades, those trades might be uh, in profit or might be in loss. <laughs> as always. And now that is exactly the difference between equity and balance. Balance is always uh, your trading account with all closed trades and equity including open trades. That means if we have an equity balance deviation of minus 40%, there has been a point in time in the history, there have been a lot of open trades which have been in the minus and you see the number. So that means on the other hand, if that happens again in future, um, that is something you you yeah um, you will see in your trading account as well. So uh, you see already why I'm going for portfolios. So because I don't want to have a single strategy with such a number. The strategy could be part of my portfolio, but not with a full amount. Um, the only reason I would go totally in with uh, for that strategy, if my preference would be just to have highest return. Then, of course, Hyperion would be the perfect uh, match. And let's have a view of that strategy. So I just clicked the strategy and now we get much more details here uh, on the next slide. Um, we see the growth uh, over time. So um, March, May, uh, that's a complete history. And that is really important to see the complete growth percentage wise. You see other uh, possibilities of graphs and you, now we uh, go for equity, which is finally both equity and balance as explained previously. And then you see, oops, what a, what a drop down here. Hmm. No, no wonder. If the growth has been steady, that doesn't uh, mean that there has been a huge loss. No, there has been simply a withdrawal, nothing else. Why not? That trader wants to take out some money of the strategy. Of course, we can do. Uh, therefore, if you want to have a fair picture of the strategy, you look for growth. Here, that picture might be, uh, there might be uh, withdrawals or deposits. I mentioned equity balance deviation as an important key figure. So that's exactly the percentage difference of the previous two lines. And you see here that we have had the highest number September last year was minus 40%. And you see that the typical behavior of this strategy is, yeah, it has floating losses uh, from time to time. And you see the amount. And now it's back to the question, what are your preferences? If 
if it's good, or well, if it's a good, it's not the right uh, wording, but if you um, accept to have those flo floating losses, you can even go with all your money into that strategy. Otherwise, what you might do is you might go with a certain part of your money within that strategy. That's another possibility, because then finally a minus 40% would be not minus 40% in your overall account, uh, because you might go only with one-fifth of your money into that strategy, so it would be only 8%. Okay, hmm, then it levels uh, maybe better. You have even other things which we uh, I would like to to point out here. If you go for details, then you see, for example, how many how much money is already within that strategy invested. Uh, in this case, it would be one hundred thirty-seven thousand uh, euros. And you see another important thing: there's a minimum investment amount, uh, and that is um, one thousand five hundred euros. So you cannot go further down the road. <laughs> uh, so the minimum invest would be this one here. But thinking back, maybe going with one-fifth of your money into that strategy, that would mean, okay, overall amount, uh, account of uh, 7,500. Uh, and then that might be a strategy for you as well. But once again, it's a question of your preferences. What you can see else here is the monthly return table, which is always quite interesting. Uh, trading statistics, everything. And um, that might be a matter for you as well, the traded instruments. So what instruments are traded? And in this case, the strategy is more or less trading ducks and um, Dow Jones only. Okay, another question. Is it... Does it fit to your preferences? If you like indices, that would be a perfect match to your uh, preferences. So you see a number of trades have been ex executed. So it's uh, not a luck lucky winner strategy. No, there's a long history and with a good trading statistics. That's one trading strategy you, you might like, uh, you might not like, but uh, that's what you can see here. I mentioned a new one. And let me point out that one. A new one is Forex Gun. Uh, that's a quite interesting strategy as well. That is the overall growth. And you see really steady growth. Okay, there has been some drawdowns, some floating losses. We will see that those are floating losses because we have a full recovery here in the growth graph. And um, yeah, it goes steady north. So that's quite interesting. And let's have a view because I like always to introduce how you can do your own review process with all the numbers uh, we we present here. And that is once again, we go for equity balance deviation. And you see, oh, that's totally different to the other strategy. And uh, okay, there has been a point in time uh, last year, August, um, it was minus 10. But overall, the average is around uh, minus 1%. So that's a quite stable strategy. Um, the monthly return table, hmm, um, perfect, just green. Um, and traded instruments, what is uh, traded with that strategy? Just euro, US dollar, nothing else. And I can show you a little bit more in detail what the strategy is really doing. Um, and um, strategy uh, is directly here and uh, here you can see there's a master account of that strategy and uh, <laughs> if you look for the account number for example you would find the same number uh, on the JFT and West platform of course the same numbers but now we are really absolutely live and you see with those lines red and green uh, last traits of the uh, last uh, couple of weeks and you see the strategy is doing from time to time rebuys if there are floating losses but it's managing that quite well and therefore you see the next part of just green lines so all profitable trades and as we speak we have an ongoing uh, short trade on euro us dollar has been opened uh, yesterday uh, here and you see take profit and uh, if it would go a little bit further up, then we would open another short trade as well. But a stop loss is involved, so we have not unlimited risk. Uh, that's quite important if you have strategies doing rebuys. So that's a really 
interesting strategy might be something for your portfolio as well. And let me go back to the overview of strategies. Or um, because I forgot to mention uh, another thing uh, with the other strategy, uh, and I don't want to hide that, uh, when you invest in um, to, in a strategy of JFD Invest, then there is a performance fee involved. Uh, that means only if the strategy is doing a good job, then you have to pay a fee, which is 25% of the profit. And the other good thing is the calculation is done high watermark. That means only if uh, you reach new highs, and that's, by the way, only at the month's end, month's end base, or if you jump out, if you stop allocation of a strategy, then uh, you might have to pay that fee if there are new highs, and only then. Um, so that's quite fair to have high watermark, and that is the fee uh, which is involved. I promised to uh, talk about another strategy, um, and let me go for, in this case, for one of those which are more down the road here. Let me talk about the gold rush, and because that's another really interesting strategy. You see, if you look for the overall growth, uh, it's a little bit uh, wiggling around, but doing its job over time. So starting in last year, July, and that is a growth. Once again, you may think, okay, after one year, earning 8% is not that much. Um, I would say 8% compared to what you can get on other um, investment um, possibilities. Why not? But anyhow, um, what is the complete difference of that strategy? Let me look for two things. One, equity balance deviation. Once again, quite low numbers. That's, by the way, very good. And the other good thing is, let me have a look on traded instruments. Now you can see, whoops, what a trading portfolio in itself. So uh, that is about uh, more than 30 instruments being traded by that strategy. Um, not absolutely equally distributed, all the trades um, of the history. But you see, that's the portfolio. But what's the logic behind the strategy? Let me explain a little bit more about that, uh, going directly into the master account. And now it may, might be a little bit tricky because my, 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 my chart here uh, looks a little bit tricky. Um, let me just go for one instrument and enlarge uh, that one here. Hopefully it works. Now it works. Okay, then you see some green uh, vertical lines here. Those are trades. And we are looking for a daily chart here. That means the strategy is trading. At the beginning of the day, it opens the trade if, and it closes the trade at the end of the day. Therefore, we have in the D1 chart um, the vertical lines. And the strategy, what is uh, behind the strategy, is using statistical edges of uh, the day of the week and the right direction. And that is all. So it's always being updated um, every 20 days to look back for the statistics of a day of weeks um, of a certain period and then deciding which might be good for the next trade. And there are instruments who might be traded at several days and other instruments only at one day. Let's have a view on what's open. So today, a uh, strategy has opened um, close after midnight, a um, long trade on, on Dow Jones. And the trade will be closed before any swap costs. And right now, as we speak, uh, trade is profitable. Hey, that's good. Why not? So there's not a huge trading activity, more or less one, two trades per day, but perfectly selected according to statistical edges of the history. So that's behind um, Gold Rush. The name stems from, because for example, gold is traded on Friday long, uh, but that's uh, uh, another detail. I promised I want to jump into my personal uh, JFD Invest um, as well, and let's have a view on that. So my personal one is simply an account like your potential JFD Invest account. 
and I opened an account with uh, 10K at the very beginning. And um, okay, since uh, now, uh, up until one month ago, uh, it was really a perfect run uh, up to that time. And then I have had two drawdowns, as you can see here. One uh, step down here, another step down here. What is the logic behind? Hmm. There has been two quite risky strategies in this case. That was FX Global and the other one was uh, Hesperus. And uh, both have created um, some losses. And okay, it happens. And as you can see, I'm absolutely 100% transparent with everything around JFD Invest as with my personal account. So that might happen as well, even in a portfolio. But nevertheless, the portfolio is the one which um, is distributing the risk over several strategies. And therefore, my loss is not that much. I still have a, a gross return of 25% uh, earned in, in about nine months. Well, why not? So uh, I still think that's a good result. And let's have a look to those which strategies I'm invested in. And you see, there's my portfolio as we speak, um, consists of five strategies, starting with Archimedes, Balance, Neptune, um, Gold Rush, and uh, Gold Mine. I have um, mentioned two new ones. They are not in here right now, simple logic. Uh, not because they are new, no, that's not the reason, but I don't have unallocated money. <laughs> so there's no money left to to um, to be invested into those strategies as, as well. So therefore, everything is absolutely fine with me. But nevertheless, I want to show you how that process of starting a new strategy would uh, would be done. And it's quite easy. If, for example, we want to start Forex Gun, okay, no problem. Um, we just press the button follow. And that means now you see once again the amount to allocate. So the minimum amount in this case is uh, 3,400 euros. That's the reason why I cannot uh, invest into that strategy um, because I don't have money available to be allocated. But so here you could uh, enter any other number, but only higher ones. The other thing is what you can apply is what we call risk management. Let me do that process here, at least virtually. And then I accept. And now you see you have a slider. And that what is the meaning of that slider? Let's assume I invest uh, the minimum investment sum of 3,400 euros. And the slider would be at 50%. That would mean whenever that strategy has a total loss of 1,700 euros, or better to say 50%, then the strategy would be automatically being stopped out. That means allocation is stopped, all open trades of that strategy are closed, and that's all. And now you can think, is it good or bad? Yeah, it's again a question of your preferences. If you don't accept losses of more than 25%, for example, the good thing is you can do it. You can, and you don't have to, to, to have a look to your portfolio every day, every minute, uh, no. Then everything is set and done. Very good. On the other hand, it might, of course, be that uh, there are temporal losses of 25% and later the strategy will recover. Okay, then you are stopped out and you will not be part of the recovery. Anyhow, it's again a question of your preferences. You see, you can do everything and you can um, you can really follow your, your settings. You can follow your um, risk settings, um, what drawdowns you might accept, and so on and so forth. So therefore, that's really good. You become um, a portfolio manager of your own, and you select between those uh, um, given strategies and decide by your own which strategy you like most and which one fits to your preferences. So that's really cool that you can do that kind of job. And I can tell you the job of a portfolio manager is really 
quite cool one. And um, yeah, that's what you can achieve with JFD and REST. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to send me or anybody else at JFD an email. So you might use my email address or support at jfdbank.com. And if you have any further questions, no problem. Uh, we will help you and we will assist you. But decisions are, can, can only be done by, by, by you. And you allocate your own portfolio uh, if you like and which strategy you want to use. That's for now. I hope you enjoyed. Um, next week, I will uh, do another review process here, maybe with new strategies. Looking to my personal JFD Invest account, how the recovery process is going on. Um, I'm quite confident that that will uh, go north once again. Even after having two uh, steps to the south, let's see what happens. Okay, that's for now. Enjoy the evening. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye-bye.